Today we are going to learn math about tens and ones concept. Okay, we will start with ones. Ones is represent to the quantity or number from one until nine. Let's count it together. One ones, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones, six ones, seven ones, eight ones, nine ones. So ones represent to the number or quantity from one until nine. And now we will go to tens. Do you know why we call it tens? Yes, because we count it 10 by 10, not 1 by 1. So let's count it together. 1 10 is 10. 2 10 is 20. 3 10 is 30. 4 10 is 40. 5 10 is... 6 10 is... 7 10 is... 8 10 is... 9 10 is... And 10 times is 100. Correct. Okay, now I'll show you the quantity of 10. This is one group of 10. Can you see? Inside, there are 10 sticks. So this is 1 10, 2 10, 3 10. Okay, now I will give you the example. Here, I have the number. Can you see? What number is it? Correct. It's 23. 2 over here represents 2 tenths. 2 tenths, it means 20. So let me show you 20. 20. And 3 over here is represent to 1's. So, we will replace 0 with number 3. 1, 2, 3. So, this is correct. 23. 2 tens and 3 1's. Remember, tens we put it in the first place and once, we put it in the second place. Now, I will give you the example. Okay, for example, they did give me 30 apples. Or maybe more. 40 or 50. Okay, let's try with 50 apples. So, if 50 apples, how many tens do we need? Correct, 5 tens. One tens, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. And mommy give me seven more apples. So let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ones. So how many apples you have all together? So we have five tens is fifty, and seven ones. So how many all together? Fifty seven. Good job. So until there, do you understand? Okay, so if you understand, you can try it at home. And for the counters, you can use something that you have it at home. Maybe for example, you can use the spoon or the ice cream stick or maybe your toys. Make it fun with your mommy, okay? Okay, bye-bye.